Hello friends, welcome to Perf Metrics the Core Performance Testing YouTube channel. In this video, I will brief you about the one of the element of JMeter that is test plan. Also, I will let you know its purpose and the input values required for proper configuration of the desired test. So let's start the topic. This is the list of JMeter elements which are the part of JMeter version 5.4. I have already created a video on JMeter elements in which I have given overview of all the elements. You can refer to the link of that video given below in the description section. Now back to our original topic that is test plan. Test plan is a root element in JMeter and all the elements comes under test plan. Test plan controls the flow of execution and instruct JMeter how to run the thread group element. There are particular options like functional test mode through which you can run the test for functional test as well. Although the primary goal of JMeter is to conduct the performance testing. In JMeter, you can create the test scripts by manually adding all the required elements under a test plan or you can also select the specific test plan from a predefined test plan template list. If you remember, when I brief you about JMeter folder structure in the folder structure video, then I have shown you the folder of the test plan template located in the bin folder. The link of the folder structure video is provided in the description section of this video. You can refer to it and get the more information. To use the test plan template, you need to go to file, then templates, then choose the desired template from the drop down list and then click create. You can see JMeter automatically add the required element under the test plan as per the selected template. Now let's see the child element of test plan. Under the test plan, you can add config element, thread, non test element, test fragment preprocessors, postprocessors, listener, timer and assertion as a direct child. Apart from this, there are some elements which you cannot add directly under test plan which are sampler, logic controller and another test plan. Now let's see what are the inputs of test plan element. Some of them are optional whereas some of them are important to use. Starting with the name, where you can provide project name like I am giving dummy NFT test. As this is an optional input, but it is good habit to provide the name of the test plan. The second input, which is comments. This is also an optional field where you can write the description of the project. Like I have written, this is a dummy performance test project. So likewise, you can provide any comment in it. The next one is user defined variables, which has two columns, one for the name of the variable and second for the respective values. In this user defined variable, you can define the static global variables like application URL, port number, etc., which can be accessed by all the elements under the test plan. In case you have more than one thread groups, then do not define the local variables in this section. Or if you define, then use the different name for them. Below user defined variables section, you can see six operational buttons, which are details to display the detail of the variable by selecting the row, add to add the new row for adding new variable, Add from clipboard to paste the value from already copied content. Delete to delete the selected row. Up to move up the selected row. Down to ship down the selected row. The next option is run thread group consecutively. That is one at a time. Check the box if you have multiple thread groups under the same test plan and want to run them sequentially. Let's see this test plan which has three thread groups with 15 minute duration each. 
Now, if you run the test by enabling run thread group consecutively, then the execution of the first thread will be completed in 15 minutes. Then second thread group will be started and it will take 15 minutes to complete and then the third one. Hence, total test duration will be 45 minutes. In case you disable this option, then the execution will be completed in 15 minutes for all the thread groups. The next option is run tear down thread groups after shutdown of main threads. Check the box if you want to run tear down thread group. I'll explain the purpose of tear down thread group in future video. As of now, you just need to keep in the mind that if you added a tear down thread group and want to execute it, then check mark this option. The next one is functional test mode that is save response data and sampler data. This option is mainly used for debugging purpose. It saves response data for validation purpose. Always pay attention to uncheck this option while performing the actual load test else this will generate a lot of logs which may impact your JMeter performance. To add extra directory or jar, you can browse the file path using browse button. The added path can be deleted by delete button. Do use clear button to delete all the rows under library section. Likewise, you can add external library in the JMeter test plan as well. So this is a brief description of test plan element. In the next video, I will cover JMeter's basic thread group element. Till that, stay connected with Perfmetrics, the core performance testing YouTube channel.